Hello, everybody from YouTube. My name is Ronald Like Sky, and today I am going to uh, review two different uh, Mac OS X style docs that you can download and install for Ubuntu, which allows you to have a little dock down here in the bottom uh, margin of your screen that allows you to, you know, switch between applications and launch applications, search for applications, etc. And I'm going to be reviewing two of them. And first off, we're going to be looking at my personal favorite. Um, Caro Doc. It looks pretty nice. You know, it's it's one of the nicest and most fluent, uh, I think. But you know, you have two options for installing this. You can either go to the Ubuntu store and install it from searching it, uh, like so. Um, you can just go here and you can uh, search that there, and you can just install that. Um, but real Linux users don't use the Ubuntu store. Real Linux users use the good old terminal and things install faster with the terminal. So I'm just going to do a sudo apt get in uh I uh forgot how to type uh caro and then uh doc I'm gonna key in our password there and it is going to install caro doc and I'm just going to launch it and do a little bit of talking here to uh, let you know uh, what this is like. So this is Carodoc. It looks uh, pretty nice. You know, he's got this nice little uh, growing icon ripple effect thing that uh, you know is applied whenever we're looking over something. We can launch ourselves uh, our terminal. We can minimize it, and uh, you know, we can minimize it and stuff. We can uh, drag stuff around as well. We can uh, we can group things together. There's a setting that allows you to do that. I do not have that enabled at the moment. Um, there is a full feature that lets you log out and then log back in um, using only the Kiro Doc by selecting it in your login menu. Uh, if you click on the little Ubuntu icon next to the password, you can actually select Kiro Doc and it'll be just the Kiro Doc and there will not be any doc there. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now because if I do that, it will cancel my recording. So, you know, you can change some settings here um, by right clicking on it. You can say Kiro Doc, we can say um, configure. We can change things, for example, we can get add-ons, we can go, we can do uh, appearance, we can get some, we can get ourselves some themes, uh, we can set up, you know, our different um, styles here. I set mine to uh, 3D plane, you can set it to, for example, parabolic, I have no idea what that does, um, it's no different. Uh, I know you can do sl slide, which looks... Um, no different. Uh, rainbow might look a little bit different. Uh, well, what I'm actually doing actually is I'm stupid. I'm just changing what it is we're doing with our sub docs. So, for example, if you click on file system, which I'll see if I can drop that in there. Uh, files, please. Uh, we can, I believe, put that in there somehow. Apparently not. All right. Well, you can click on things and have it open up um, extra little file extensions, and you c that's what that changes. This is the one for the actual um, doc. So I have it like that. I have no idea why you'd want to have it like that, but hey, maybe you like things covering up your entire screen for some reason. You can have it set up as rainbow, which looks a little bit cool, but it's still pretty um, space consuming. You have this really weird scroll up and down menu thing, which nobody likes, or I don't like it. No, we can get ourselves uh, themes and all kinds of stuff. You just basically have to go ahead and install themes from here, just, you know, by downloading them through the local theme configuration system. So I'm going to go ahead and close this because I do not want this running. And the second one that we're going to look at um, is called Caro Doc. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of uh, my other one uh, so that there's no sort of interference. Um, say yes to that. And once this is done, which it is, I'm going to uh, install the second one. Um, and this one is called Docky. This one is a little bit different from Karodoc. Um, 
it's it's not it doesn't look quite as nice, but it's a little bit more compact. It also does not um uh give you the ability to use only the dock and nothing else, no sidebar or anything. And I do that's one of the reasons why I don't like it as much. Is Caradoc comes with a complete UI interface that's uh that can be a complete alternative to the Unity desktop system. And, you know, this is something, you know, uh, Docky does not necessarily support that. And it would be nice if it did, because it's a nice little dog. It's it's very um, lightweight in terms of t uh, processes it requires to run it. Um, but it's just, it's not really as customizable. You can install themes still, but it's not quite as easy. You have to download them off the internet and then browse to the file location and install them through the uh, GUI of Docky, which is a little bit um, more difficult than just, you know, going into the themes and appearances setting and, you know, just by right clicking on it and changing it and downloading it from there. So, you know, if my preference is definitely Carodoc, but you know, let me know which one you guys would prefer and why down in the um, description, uh, down in the uh, comments, and uh, yeah, like and subscribe for more videos on a daily basis. See all of you guys in the next video. It's Random Sky. I'm out.